everybody. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> it's kind of loud and they're finishing up. But uh, I am at Kane's Quest Fan Night and this is amazing. I'm going to turn around so you can see. This arena is full of snowmobiles all around from one end to the other and all the racers. So this has become an international snowmobile race all around Newfoundland or all around Labrador, sorry. And we are just amazed at all of the racers and the awesome snowmobiles. So if you have a chance, go check out their website, canesquest.com, C-A-I-N-S-Q-U-E-S-T, and I will post a link to it down below. Um, this is just crazy. All right, have a look and see where the racers are going to be going, and you can follow your favorite team. Okay, bye. Hello, it's me again. We are at the start of Kane's Quest. It's awesome. There's tons of racers. It's 44 teams, 88 people racing and all their support teams. They go down this way, they go down the road, and there's hundreds and hundreds of people here at the fan night uh, two nights ago. There was over 100 and, or 1,600 people that went through the arena to meet the racers and see their snowmobiles and meet their teams. And it's awesome. So we'll have some more video as they're starting. I got my Kane's Quest gear on. So awesome. Check out Kane'sQuest.com. Again. I'm probably pretty shaggy. I just took my hat off. Um, so I'm at a different vantage point now. Uh, we parked on a hill. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I know I'm bad with the, uh, the selfie mode. Anyway, so a few racers have gone already. And uh, the kids were getting a little bored. So they're sitting in the truck, warming up a little bit and sitting down. Because they didn't bring their snow pants and nowhere to sit down. Anyway, I'm all full of snow because I climbed up a hill. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so the racers go down this lake that's part of the run. And uh, it is a six to seven day event. So they are flat out all day. Um, even all night sometimes. Some of the teams don't sleep for a day or two at a time. Um, just to get where they need to go. So there's checkpoints that they have to get to. They're all GPS tracked. There's... Um, I'll show down here a little bit. Hope I can get it. Oh, there's a team going now. So there's helicopters following them and uh, doing video. Again, go to canesquest.com. This is amazing. I'm really excited about this because I grew up here. And it's just so great to see um, tourism for Labrador and see so many people. There's teams from Finland here. Um, teams from all over Canada and the United States. And there's lots of local teams too. So... Go, uh, go check them out, and we're really rooting for all the local guys. Um, I say guys because there's no ladies in the team. There was only one woman who uh, ever raced in Kane's Quest, and I believe they did finish. You'd have to look that up to be sure, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. So again, go check it out, and I'll have some more video. Um, I might have some more video from later today of all the teams leaving, and every two minutes they leave, they're staggered a little bit and uh, just to give them a little bit of space so they're not bumping into each other and it's not just a free-for-all to leave. So here's a little bit of better video. Um, they come from over there. There's a, the, I'm not at the starting line now. I'm just down the road a little, well, a few hundred feet. So they come around the corner there and then they follow this trail. And this is just the beginning of it and they're still excited and they're still hyped up and all these people have come to watch. Up at the starting line, it's just shoulder to shoulder and they're a couple of rows deep. And so they just follow the trail all the way down and they go all over Labrador. And it's just amazing. There's another team going. 
I'm not sure who it is. I don't see. Oh, Team 50. So it's six or seven days of grueling trek through the Labrador wilderness.